Hey everyone, it's Erin Foda here and I am here filming for another week in my bullet journal. This is week 8 probably and I am doing a Dutch door this week because I'm never shocked that I'm doing a Dutch door. I thought that I would show you kind of my process from the start and how I draw things out a lot of times before I actually put pen to paper. So I thought I would show you that process today. Um, so that's the beginning part of this video where I'm just kind of sketching out what my ideas are. I kind of already had an idea of what I wanted to do and then I just sketched it out to make it work a little bit better. The tool I'm using here is like an exacto knife. It is called the Slice Tool. I have it on my Amazon affiliate links that I will put down in my tools section below. I put those affiliate links just so that you guys can uh, routinely see what products I'm using and what products I've used in the past and things like that. So I started doing that. So if you want to go take a look, that is in the description down below. I had to go get a paper towel because I pressed the bulb of the aquash a little too hard and so like water was spilling out while I was doing this. So make sure you're careful about that. I just do like usually little pumps um, and then I have the paper towel there to make sure that I'm not uh, putting too much water down as well. So that it was a mistake I made at the beginning which is why you can see that like the potion bottles have become really thick at the start, but then they get more in line with what I wanted towards the end. So like I said, the little header areas are going to be these little potion kits. So. If you have taken chemistry before, you know that the, the little vials go into a little holder and so that's what I've done with these headers and I use the white to do the outlines because I wanted to use black for the actual header for the weekday name. So I wanted to make sure I use white so that it wasn't like competing against the black outline of the potions. So I thought that that would be a nice little um, contrast. So I've decided to include my meals on the daily section. I I think I'm going to do keto again this week, but I had a really nice time on vacation not doing keto, so I'll have to think about it a little bit more. I'll probably end up doing it because I definitely have not been eating healthy this past week, but you know what? <laughs> you don't go on vacation often, especially if you're me, and honestly it wasn't even that much of a vacation. A big vacation because I was working the whole time. So I thought that if I'm going to be working the whole time and my husband gets to go off and do things like ski and I'm not allowed to do that because of my knee, then I will eat what I want. I was going to do the Madame Puttyfoots theme this week just to break things up from like the potion bottles and stuff like that, but I just did not have time. I had so much filming to do because of the stationary showdown. I had to hang out with my patrons this week. That was a lot of fun. My husband got to join us for a little bit of it, but I just did not have time. So I went with something that was pretty standard for me. I know how to do a Dutch door really well. I know how to do these vertical columns really well. So that's what I ended up doing. 
and I used uh, the different colors to break up each day into different sections. So the top section is for priorities, the middle section is for events, and then the bottom section, like I said, is for meals because I added that to my daily section, and then fitness is going to be on the Dutch door itself. And then I realized doing the white was taking so much longer, so I decided to break it up and do different colors for different days. So I have the white on the first day, I do the uh, blended watercolor, I also do black headers as well. I also think that brings like a lot of fun contrast to the page, um, just doing a lot of white. I, I think that wouldn't have been as interesting and I thought that doing the different colors would be interesting as well. So I added all of those different sections. I like sectioning off my days like this. Um, usually I do it in, like if I'm doing a horizontal, then I do it in separate columns for different types of tasks, but I think that this will be fun to do. Um, different sections for different types of things that I'm tracking. So your priority tasks that need to get done, what events you have that day. I never really have more than three events, so it was pretty okay just having that section. And then because I put my weekly in one column, I only included a section for meals and then the top section is just going to be for tasks. I didn't put headers for those because I just didn't want it to take away from um, the amount of space that I have for that day for writing tasks. So I don't really know what to talk about on this weekly setup. I didn't put any of my plans. I do have a lot going on this week. I have training on Tuesday and Wednesday. I have a huge meeting on Wednesday during the training, so I have to skip part of the training to do that. And it's going to be a really busy week. I think next week is probably going to be worse, but I think that this week is going to be really hectic because I need to finish some stuff up before next week since that week is definitely going to be more hectic. My plan is to be in the field so I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of my um, kind of mundane tasks for work because I am doing all field work during that time. But those tasks are also really important to get done so it's very it's a lot of work and it's like tedious, cumbersome work, but it definitely has to get done. And I feel like um, because I've been out in the field so much that it's um, all of my other stuff has piled up a lot. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate when, when some big project takes over and then you have to put everything else on the back burner, but all that stuff still needs to get done. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with So like I said, I'm adding my headers here at the top over the little potion bottles, the little chemistry sets. I really like the look of this. I think that it might have been a little bit better if I had put the outline in white also, but I think it's fine. I think that um, it kind of ties in with the black font, so maybe that's okay. And I kind of wish I did black over the purple but I think it ended up working out overall anyways. So like I said earlier, I decided to finish off the quote from Ginny to Harry. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. Um, and I did that on my calendar, so I decided to continue the quote. 
This hair is a, as dark as a blackboard. It's really cute. I love this quote. <laughs> I wish he was mine. He's really divine. The boy who defeated the dark lord? Is that right? It might not be. The hero. The hero who <laughs> who conquered. Man, uh, I was close. I was close. It's fine. It's fine. I'm a terrible Harry Potter fan, but it's fine. <laughs> so I decided to do this quote just because I felt like I needed to finish the quote somewhere. And I didn't know, uh, like, if I'm doing Madame Puttyfoot's next week, then I didn't think I would really have room to do it for that weekly. So I just added it to this week. And then hopefully I'm getting more into fitness this week because I really need it. I feel like I've been such a lazy lard, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me for another weekly. I will not be having one next week. It is going to be exclusive to my patrons. So join my Patreon group if you want to see that weekly. I will be doing a live this Saturday. So thanks. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.